Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is October 3rd, 2020. Um, wanted to talk to you about how this week has gone and what the challenges are, the success is, and what we're going to be doing going forward. Um, so first off, again, I want to thank for all the support. Everybody's been wonderful. I've gotten a lot of messages again. I'm starting to get random people messaging me on Instagram and commenting on my posts and photos um, and it's been fantastic um, so we're pretty I'm pretty pleased with how it's going uh, thank you very much for your for your help and your support um, you're gonna hear me say we a lot because to me we're in this together let's get right into it um, let's start with the struggles I like to start with the bad news and then work our way into the good news um, so this week uh, I really was jonesing for pizza um, especially yesterday uh, it was a particularly stressful day i had some personal things that popped up on top of some professional things that popped up and it was all big bad news and that everybody's had days like that and um, it's particularly hard to deal with those um so i'll talk to you how i dealt with that later um but it was a very bad day. Uh, talking about stress, it's been very stressful at work lately um, because I'm in kind of an odd situation where I'm not sure where I'll be working at the end of the year. Um, and uh, it's kind of just the hand I was dealt with the position I'm in at the moment. Um, so we're gonna, it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna be fine professionally, it's just, it's I'm not sure how things will work out yet honestly based on this week's results I was not getting enough carbs um, because I found this week that I had a lot of success with balancing my carbs out so I think the week before I wasn't getting enough due to the stress yesterday I almost like straight up just went off the bandwagon um, I kept my head straight I did I had made some trades and had some victories and we'll talk about those later um, exercise this week was pretty good uh, two days on two day one day off is how we're doing um, so I did I started doing something different I went to the gym downstairs so they have treadmills and all that jazz so I'm doing 30 minutes on the treadmill with a five minute warm-up and cool down um, counted in that so 20 minutes at whatever speed I'm choosing and then a five minute warm-up five minute cool down um, and I'm targeting basically about 20 minutes of my heartbeats being between 140 and 160 beats per minute and very easy to do actually because you know gym mask requirements are kind of simulating an artificial low oxygen environment which is kind of neat because i think at some point it might see some benefits with greater lung strength and stuff um i don't know if that's a healthy range for my heart my heart rate but for me it seems to be burning a lot of calories i'm averaging about 350 calories per 30 minute workout which is very good i feel um, so it's kind of almost like I'm working off a meal every day. Um, instead of going to the gym like I normally did, um, I just decided to take a shorter walk outside. I didn't get my heart rate up as much as I have been. And the being outside, the fresh air, and just the whole experience of me walking and then talking to friends and family really got the stress levels down for me so i'm grateful to have the support i do but that's kind of the things you have to do though is if is if you're not feeling it make a trade and by trade i mean maybe trade down something to make yourself a little easier but you're still doing something um, because that's a victory in and of itself um, and that's kind of what I've been learning is the lesson so far is making those trades for things that do help you live that healthier lifestyle and get in better shape. And I'm pretty pleased with my exercise plan. At some point, we're going to have to add some weightlifting in. Um, and I'm not, I'm, I'm actually still kind of jonesing to do that, but I want to get my heart rate, lung capacity up so that I can do, you know, high rep count 
kind of supersetting and stuff like that. Because I feel like if you're doing supersets and stuff like that, you're getting cardio built into your weight, into your, your muscle building. Uh, I actually recorded a video of my grocery haul. I bought some things that I kind of try, we're gonna try. Um, first notable thing, uh, cauliflower pizza crust. We're gonna try that, see if I can get, um, see if I can get, see if I can fix those pizza cravings. Um, <clears throat> I bought a lot more chicken this week because I was eating, I'm eating four meals a day. I need a lot more chicken in my diet in order to balance that out. Uh, I also made a full on switch to almond milk. Uh, you'll notice that I have chocolate almond milk on top of unsweetened vanilla. Uh, the chocolate almond milk is to kind of supplement my chocolate milk. I I'm eating a lot of broccoli. I brought 52 ounces last week and it's almost all gone. So I am find that I am eating at least one large green serving a day. Um, and ironically, I've noticed the trend that it ends up being about two and a half servings of a frozen vegetable from a bag. Um, whether it's green beans or broccoli, um, which are my go-tos. And honestly, I'll probably be eating those for the rest of my life. I love my broccoli and my green beans, so we'll be mixing those up. Um, something I added was a cup of white rice to one of my meals in the day, uh, just to get some carbs. And I, it's made me, I feel like I've been feeling better just by doing that. So I think I was just not doing a healthy low carb, but it was, I was just going too far. Uh, but not, I don't want to do into the keto thing. So it's been pretty good. Um, also picked up some flat iron steak. I don't know if that's particularly the healthiest. It looks like it has a low fat content uh, to me. Uh, I was trying to find skirt steak, but I couldn't find that. Um, to see that I spent about $94 on my grocery haul and you'll see all of that. This week's inspiration uh, was Ethan Supley. If you don't know who that is, uh, you would play Randy and my name is Earl. He also was at Louie in Friday Night Lights. He had a couple other things, a little movie called Wolf of Wall Street, TV show, little TV show called Boy Meets World, and Without a Paddle. Um, he's lost over 250 pounds, and if I can, some point, I'm gonna edit a picture of him in here so that you can see that and uh, see what the transformation looks like. He has lost a lot of weight. And honestly, he's probably my biggest inspiration for what I want to do with my body because the dude looks great. Um, and he's 44, so he's a little older than me. But by the time I'm his age, if I look like he does, I'll be in very, I'll be a very happy person. Uh, he, he looks fantastic. I also, what really brought this up is I found a video. I, I found a video that Men's Health or Men's Fitness did. I'll put a link to that in the below as well, where it showed his fridge and his weights and workout area and stuff, um, which was pretty cool and gave me some really good ideas. Um, I, he mentions a beverage in there that I might try down the road, and it's one of those seltzer waters called Spindrift, and apparently a lot of people really like it, so I might give it a whirl if I can find some. Let's talk about the successes I had this week. I am down five pounds. I am at 375.2. I started at 383.2. Notice I'm having to step on the scale like three or four times. That was pretty happy. I'm very happy about that, to be honest, because that means I'm down a total of about nine pounds so far, eight or nine pounds. Um, I went started at 383.2. I'm down to 375.2, um, which is huge. So. Uh, five pounds is a giant amount of weight for one week. So I think this week was the best I've felt so far, the best I've done with my exercise and my diet. And I think this is gonna be what I try to maintain for most of the time. So I am very pleased. Uh, thank you again for all the support I've had. Four meals a day seems to be the ticket for me. I'll have a breakfast, uh, earlier lunch, later in the day lunch and then a dinner after I get back from working out uh, seems to be the ticket for me. I'm also pretty happy with how I dealt with yesterday with all the stress and stuff. 
So I was stressed, so I did a cheat meal, but I kept my cheat meal within reason so that I still met my calorie goal. So I'm kind of happy how I handled that. I had uh, Five Guys, which is one of my favorite foods, so uh, for dinner last night, but I still kept it to where I met my calorie goals. I also was supposed to go to the gym yesterday and instead I decided to go for a walk outside. It ended up being probably the best thing I did. Definitely had some victories this week. Uh, I felt better overall. Um, after Wednesday, I felt horrible um, and you saw that from my midweek update. But after taking a rest day, getting a good night's sleep Wednesday night into Thursday, and then really hitting the end of the week hard uh, with my exercise, and, and it really, really showed. It means I'm doing the stuff, doing the right things. Let's talk about our goals for this week. Um, so I'm really liking this four meal a day thing. So we're gonna do four meals a day. Typically two of those are gonna be chicken. One's gonna be chicken and a green vegetable. The other is gonna be chicken and um, probably rice. It will be a single serving of carbs or a small serving of carbs. Uh, we're gonna focus on again, two days on, one day off with my exercise. I'm pretty pleased with how that's going. So I typically have four or five days of working out a week, uh, depending on the week. Uh, 2400 calories, still working for me, still a solid number. Uh, we won't we, we won't be adjusting that for a while. Uh, I'm gonna target 200 grams of protein a day, and I think that's gonna be very feasible. I did buy some whey protein with my groceries, so hopefully that's gonna help. I'm gonna be traveling, um, and when I start traveling again, it's gonna be very difficult to be able to food prep. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Likely what that might translate to is I have two extra meals a day where I eat a salad for lunch and a salad for a second lunch, uh, mostly with chicken, probably like a Caesar salad or something like that. Um, I might do that. It might, I'm kind of, I'm really kind of scared about that because I don't, I'm not doing sauces very much. I'm kind of, kind of scared about that to be honest, because that's going to part of really big part of my plan is my meal prep. Um, so we'll see if you have suggestions on what to do when travel when you're going to be traveling extensively let me know um either instagram facebook uh youtube comments whatever source is best for you um thank you everybody again for following me along with this journey and um we will see you on wednesday thank you